Hey hockey fans, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered who has the most Stanley Cups for career? What if I told you the answer is 17? Yes, I said that right, 17 Stanley Cups, 10 as a player and 7 as an executive. We are talking about the Gold Bill, or Big Bill, known for his size, grace and skill on the ice. He played his entire career with the Montreal Canadiens from 1950 to 1971 and served as the Canadiens team captain for 10 seasons. Inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1972, Beliveau is widely regarded as one of the 10 greatest NHL players of all time. Beliveau was already a star at 15 when spotted by Canadian general manager Frank Selke, who sought to sign him to an NHL C form. The standard league contract for young players then would have required Beliveau to join the Canadians at a set date and agreed upon salary. When his father balked, Beliveau signed a B form instead agreeing to play for Montreal should he ever decide to turn pro. Beliveau was a rising star, scoring 45 goals and 83 points in 59 games in 1952, and topping the mark the following season with the Quebec Aces with 50 goals and 89 points in 1953. He was still reticent about playing pro in the NHL even after having been called up twice to play for the Canadians. John Beliveau's hockey idol was Maurice Rocket Richard, the Rocca personally tried to convince Beliveau to sign with the Canadians. It was Frank Selke who took the initiative and forced the issue. Selke wanted Beliveau to sign with the Canadians so severely that he convinced the Canadians owners to buy the QSHL and turn the league into a minor pro league, forcing Beliveau to sign with Montreal under the terms of the B-form contract. Beliveau wasted no time proving himself to the Montreal fan base winning the Hart Trophy in 1956 and 1964, the Art Ross Trophy in 1956, and the Conn Smythe Trophy in 1965. He played his entire 20-year career in Montreal. Beliveau won 10 Stanley Cups as a player, second only to fellow teammate Henry Richard, who won 11. He scored the Cup Clincher in two of these championships. The first Cup Clincher was in a four-game sweep of the Maple Leafs in 1960, and again in 1965 in Game 7 against Chicago. Beliveau was a force in the playoffs. He scored 79 goals in 162 playoff games. He is third all-time in goals scored in Montreal Canadiens history with 507, behind Maurice Richard, 544, Guy Lafleur, 518, and 79 goals ahead of fourth place Ivan Cornoyer. On November 5, 1955, the legendary Jean Beliveau achieved an astonishing feat on the ice. In a game between the Montreal Canadiens and the Boston Bruins, Beliveau scored three power play goals in just 44 seconds. He also scored all Montreal's goals in the 4-2 win against the Boston Bruins. Bert Olmsted assisted on all three power play goals for the second fastest three assists in NHL history. On a side note, Bill Mozienko scored the fastest hat trick in NHL history with three goals in 21 seconds in a game against the New York Rangers on March 23, 1952. He narrowly missed a fourth goal 45 seconds later by ringing one off the post. Hey fans, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button. It's a long way to the top if you want your YouTube channel to grow. Now back to Jean Beliveau. This remarkable display of skill and speed resulted in the fastest hat-trick in Canadian team history and left fans in awe. Beliveau's performance had a significant impact. It led to a league rule change, specifically regarding penalties. Before this, a penalized player had to serve their entire minor penalty, regardless of goals scored. However, after Beliveau's lightning fast hat trick, the rules were adjusted to allow penalty termination upon scoring a goal. His team missed the postseason just once in 18 full NHL seasons. He led Montreal in scoring five times, including the 1955-56 and 56-57 seasons, when he finished ahead of Rocket Richard himself. He retired following the 1970-71 season after leading the Canadians to a 4-3 series win over the Chicago Blackhawks for his 10th Stanley Cup. Jean Beliveau was revered by fans and opponents, as he was a humble man who carried himself with grace and humility. He once said of himself, If people are saying, I am good, it is nice to hear. But to play good hockey, you must be lucky to be born with ability. Then you work hard at it the rest of the time. Guy Lafleur said of Beliveau, I may never be able to play like John Beliveau, but I'd like to be the man he is. When he was in Italy, Pope Paul VI sought a private audience with him. As a constitutional monarchy, Canada has a head of government and a head of state. 
Prime Minister Jean Chrétien offered him the Governor General of Canada, the Head of State, the Commander-in-Chief and the Crown's representative in Canada's Parliament. He respectfully declined, concerned that life in Ottawa and away from his grandchildren would unnecessarily deny them of their grandparents becoming what journalist Roy McGregor calls the best Governor General the country missed out on. He left a legacy as the gentlemanly professional that players aspire to reach to this day. In his 20 seasons, he scored 507 goals in 1,125 games. The Gros Bill received a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2009. Sadly, he passed away on December 2, 2014. Hey hockey fans, if you like this content, please slap that subscribe button. You can also follow my blog at https tedtalkshockey.com and remember to keep your stick in the ice. Thanks for watching! Special thanks to Maddox and Mia for their voices.